boys and girls. Okay, so today we have a new story that we're going to be listening to. And it is a story that I want you to focus on your job, okay? So your job is to listen to find out the name of someone who became president of the United States, okay? Can you help me do that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, um, we just listened to, um, hopefully you just listened to me talk about the vocabulary. Okay, we have new vocabulary. So you're going to hear those words talked about while I'm reading this story. Or It's not really a story. It's more of um, like social studies. We're learning about our history. Okay. Does anybody know this picture? You know this person? Okay. Our country, the United States of America, has had many presidents. The 44th president of the United States was Barack Hussein Obama. Yeah. Does anyone know who our new president is? We just got yesterday. Joe Biden. Yeah. And his wife is Dr. Jill Biden. Now, um, have you seen a picture of Mr. Biden, President Biden? I haven't seen the newspaper or the news yet. I'm sure it's on the, on the news and everywhere. Okay, now, turn the page. But we're going to talk about this president who was our president in the past, okay? So before he became president, this is situated here, here we go. Um, while he was a young man, Barack Obama met a woman named Michelle. They met in college, I believe, okay? Um, Barack and Michelle fell in love. They got married and had two daughters, Sasha and Malia. While his daughters were little girls about the same age as you, Barack Obama and his family lived in the state of Illinois. Barack Obama was an important person in the state of Illinois because he helped make laws, which is a fancy word for rules. Yeah, for rules. He helped to make rules and worked to make Illinois a better place to live. You know what state we live in? Texas. Yeah. And there are people just like he was. He was a senator. And we have senators from Texas. And they go to Washington, D.C. to help make our state better, too. Now, many people who lived in Illinois. Um, thought Barack Obama did a great job. So they voted, which means you choose. They chose for him to travel to Washington, D.C. to help make laws for our whole country, the United States of America. Barack Obama thought a lot about what those laws should be while he lived in Washington, D.C. He talked and listened to many people about how to make the United States the Best country it could be. Many people liked his ideas and voted for him to be president of the United States. When Barack Obama moved to Washington, D.C., he wasn't president yet, but he thought about what it might be like to be president. He worked hard and helped all of the states in the United States. He was such a good helper that a lot of people voted are what we say they chose him to be the president. Okay, let me turn the page. Ah, what is this? After he was elected president, Barack Obama and his family moved into a big fancy house called the White House. The White House is different. That means not like other homes, not like other things. That's what different means. Because it is not only a place to live, 
but is a place to work. In one part of the White House, there are rooms where the Obama family sleeps, where they get dressed and eat their meals, just like you do in your house. Why do you think it's called the White House? Because it's what? White! Yeah. Now, one day, you could be president and, and live in the White House with your family. Raise your hand if you would like to be president and live in the White House. You could. You never know. But another part of the White House is an office where lots of busy people come to do work every day. President Obama has an office, or he had an office with a big desk where he could read and sign important papers. He also had a phone so that he could talk to important people from all around the world. Since President Obama's office was in the White House where his family lived, his daughters, Malia and Sasha, could visit him when they got home from school. Yeah. Okay. Now, even though their father was president of the United States and they live in the White House, Malia and Sasha Obama do many things just like other kids. They go to school and do their homework every day. When they come home, they like to do fun things like dancing and practicing piano. At the end of the day, before they eat dinner, Sasha and Malia have two important chores to do. First, they feed their dog, Bo, and then they take him for a walk outside the White House. Look, Malia is working on homework over here in this picture, and Sasha is dancing to music in this picture over here. Here, they are walking their dog, Bo. Right here. Even though they live in the White House, Malia and Sasha do the same things other boys and girls have done. What kind of chores do you do at home? President Obama once told Malia and Sasha that he knew their lives were wonderful in many ways. He also told them he wanted every child in the United States of America to have a wonderful life just like theirs. Barack Obama said that he was going to work long and hard to make the United States a better place to live so that all children would have the chance to learn and dream and grow. President Obama talked to the people of the United States and told them the same thing he told his daughters. He said he wanted everyone in the United States to have a chance to go to a good school, to learn how to read and write, and to have a good life in the United States. Okay, that was it. Okay. So, while we were reading, we heard the word laws. So, a law is what? It's a rule. It's a rule, right? And he helped to work on rules. So, we would have new rules and special rules and good rules in our country. And I told you to listen for the name of somebody who was a president. What was that person's name? I showed you lots of pictures of him. What was his name? Barack Obama. Yeah, he was what? He was a president. He's not the one we have right now, because right now we have President Biden. This is Barack Obama. Okay. And he and his family lived where? In a special building 
What was the no. building called? The what? The White House. Is the White House still around? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got to go on a tour of the White House um, about, I guess it's now about 16 years ago. Um, and um, that was when President Bush was president. It's a long time ago. <laughs> and um, my daughter was three months old and um, they have a lot of security. You have to follow a lot of rules to go on a tour in the White House. We couldn't, I couldn't take a backpack. We couldn't take a purse. We couldn't do any of that. We had to just have our ID and we couldn't, we were afraid she was going to start crying because she was just a little bitty baby. So we wanted to take um, her baby bottle with us. And so my husband was able to take the baby bottle in his pocket. The secret service allowed us to do that. But um, yeah, we were afraid that she would end up throwing up in the White House, but she didn't. <laughs> Thankfully, we were afraid. But um, so, yeah, it was it was very interesting. It was a very incredible place. You, you're not allowed to take any pictures or anything like that. But that was that was really, really interesting. Um, and let's see. So he lived there just like the president now, President Biden. He's moved in with his, his family, his wife, and I think they have two dogs and they moved in. President Biden did. Now, former President um, Obama, he lived there with his wife and their two daughters and their dog, both. So um, that is it. Okay. So boys and girls, now I'm gonna show you your homework in language arts today. Dun, dun, dun. It is I can rhyme. Okay. So what you're going to do, there's all these picture cards and they're all mixed up. You can color the pictures and then families. I would with a marker trace on those gray lines so that they can cut them out. I don't want y'all to do it. I want your kids to do it so that they will cut out, which is great. Fine motor practice, the cutting. And then give them two choices. Say, okay, here's jam. We need to find the three words that go there. Okay, give them two words at a time. Okay, so what rhymes with jam? Back to my page. Jam pet, jam rug, jam win, jam. Mop, jam, jet. So you keep saying that instead of saying, instead of giving them two words, guys, I would um, just go one at a time. Okay. Jam. And then you say the other word, jam, pop, jam, ham. Is that rhyme? Does it have the same ending sound? Yes. Jam, ham. So that would rhyme. So jam and ham. You would put those two together on the same line there's jam and then i put ham right here okay so you want to go through and you want to find the words that rhyme there's three of them for each one and this is going to take a while this is going to be a little more difficult you may need to do maybe two lines take a break for about 20 minutes 10 minutes and then come back do two more lines and then if you do that then you'll have the last one already left It'll be all figured out, okay? You can do this. I believe in you. It's listening. Try real hard families not to give them the answers. Make them hear it and make them listen, okay? Super, super important, okay? Okay, guys, good job. Thanks for listening to our story about Barack Obama today. Good job, okay?